Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my travel journal. Um, and I've created some collages on the front of journals that I got from Muji. And I also created a little travel pouch. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be showing you what I put in each area, what I'm using the journals for, and also um, the book that I brought last time I went to Japan. Um, now this is going to be a travel journal for my Japan trip. I'm not actually going to Japan until December, so I'm very keen for this trip and I've been planning it for a while now and I just get really excited about organising things. So this is one thing that I really wanted to do beforehand, um, to have it all ready for December. <laughs> um, so I'll show you in detail um, what I've got here and I've also actually got a version I've also like already pre-filmed a video of me making these journals so I'll show you that clip now and then um, I'll play some music over it and then when you come back I'll explain how I set it all up <laughs>
and the kit and how I'd use it on a daily basis. So I'll show you close-ups um, while I'm talking through it. But basically at the front here you can see my little designs. Now all these badges here I actually got um, on my last Japan trip. So these are actually our little um, vending machines, the gacha pong machines. Um, so they come in those little eggs that drop down. and. These one, like this one here is from Nara, um, I can't remember where these two were but they were out of those little eggs. And then these two I just bought I think from this one here, the little guy in a swan suit. Um, I think that was just from a little stationery shop and the other one I think was on um, Harajuku Street, the Harajuku Main Street. And then these Japanese stamps are just stamps I got from a package from Japan to Australia. So I cut those out because I thought they were really cute and I wanted to keep them. Now the front pouch here, um, I'll show you what I have inside. So inside the first front, front pouch, I've got my Hello Sandwich book. And inside of this book is like a guide around Tokyo. It's got things like, let me just open it up. It's got things like, stationery, it's got food, it's got um, cafes, so it's got lots of different places you should like see. Um, they're all cur curated by the author, so this time around when I go back to Japan I'll be able to um, see some more places. She had some really great tips and places last time, so I'm going to see how many I can do this time. So I actually got that one from just a little bookshop. Um, last year so I don't know if they're still around in Sydney um, but Hello Sandwich you can probably grab online um, there's also lots of stationery shops in this one which I really like in the first pouch so this will be at the front I've got this postcard from um, penpaling underscore Paula on Instagram um, she creates these little postcards and they have stationery shops in the selected city that um, the postcard is based. So this one is Tokyo. And then she shows all the um, stationery shops that you can find within Tokyo. There's lots of ones um, around Europe, so European countries, but I actually got a whole pack of them. So there was lots of ones in America, around Europe, um, around some Asian countries as well. So this is the Tokyo one. And I definitely wanted to have that 
in the front of my pouch so I can just slip that one out and have a day of stationery shopping. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video for you guys and hopefully tick off all these places. Um, so if you want to find out who creates these, it's Penpaling Paula on Instagram. Um, and if I remember, I'll put the link in the description box below um, and you can go collect all her postcards and tick off all the stationery shops from around the world. Um, also in this front pouch, I've got some, um, what is it, double-sided tape. So I've just wrapped up double-sided tape the same way I would as washi tape. Um, and I'm putting that one in just because I know that I want to be collecting lots of things and just sticking it straight in. So if I don't have time to glue it in all nicely and collage, then I can just easily just stick it straight in with this. So I wanted that at the front. I also have a little air mail envelope. So this is the um, kind of the same print as you would get from America. It's like that really classical American envelope. But the reason I have this in here is in case I just want to slip a few things in the pocket, I mean in the envelope and keep. I know that I've already got everything in the pocket, but um, if I find special things that I want to pop in here instead, then I can put it in there and I can also collage within my larger book too and it just looks really pretty as well. So just in case I had really small intricate things I didn't want to get lost because this pocket doesn't actually close because of the postcards too high um, then I thought maybe I could just slip it in that envelope. I've also got these two um, kookaburra cards and I got these from Dimix. And what I'm going to do is, I thought they were quite Australian, and I wanted to also bring a few Australian postcards with me, just because a few of the Airbnbs we go to, some of the hosts are really, really lovely, and sometimes they leave you little gifts, and I wanted to bring something from Australia to Japan to say thank you, so that's why I started collecting little Australian um, stationary bits and pieces that are flat that I can bring with me and just have them because this pack will be with me pretty much at all times I'm going to have it in my backpack um, and I thought things like Airbnb hosts that are really kind or people that I meet um, it's just really nice to give them something especially if you've thought about it for a while so I'm also going to collect some really unique postcards probably from my town um, or even around the northern beaches even and pop them in this little pack that I can just easily give out when I leave places just to say thank you for staying or if I meet people along the way. Now the next one that's in the little front pocket here with those two goodies is my have a nice trip um, little booklet that I designed. As you can see the front's very <laughs> Studio Ghibli themed. I really like this size because I can design, I can just put in all my like ticket stubs and I can pop in any little things that I get from like cafes or I can even pop in here little business cards. So I really want to make this my collage paper good collection journal. <laughs> um, so anything that's ticket stubs, business cards, um, little flyers, I can cut little flyers that I get, anything that I travel around, I want to just pop them straight in here and I don't really want to be putting a lot of effort into collaging in this book, I just want to just keep it. Um, even dried flowers and things could go in here. I can easily have this for my, anything that I collect along the way will go in there. So, those will be my go-to um, items and that's why they're at the front. Easy to grab out. And in the middle part here there's a big zip, so it's for the things that I probably don't want to fall out. So there's one pouch here that is sealable, um, it's just an extra one just in case I needed it. And I had things that I wanted to put in there, maybe it would be a few coins or I could even use this as a money pouch, I haven't decided yet. This one here is quite a small booklet and I was going to use this one for my Polaroid photos. So I was literally just going to, even though I've designed all the front here, I was literally just going to put my Polaroids in here and as you can see, I've already got one in there. Um, but my Polaroid camera isn't working very well. A lot of the photos are fuzzy or they're just not coming out with the right lighting. So what I was thinking of doing is, of, is 
I was going to buy one of those print, like they print out Polaroids from your phone so I can take some really nice photos on my camera, sorry my phone camera, like my iPhone camera, and then I can print them straight out and pop them straight in here because I know that if I'm doing them throughout the trip and I'm collecting things along the way then I can just like rip out some um, things that I like all my little paper goodies and just stick it straight in every day so it's kind of nice I can write maybe a little note with it or put a date next to it rather than when I get home and then I have stacks of paper goods or stacks of ticket stubs or stacks of things and trying to do it after the trip because it's really nice to do it while you're there in the day and because when you're traveling you've got a lot of downtime at night or at least I do because I don't usually do a lot of things at night it'd be a nice time just to pop all my photos in for the day in here and if I've got that little printer it's like this big and just prints out photos and I can put one a day in here so I'm going to actually be doing a lot of journaling on this trip now this is my bigger, bigger journal. I've put a little rubber band in between them, so it's actually two journals with a rubber band putting them together. And um, I've designed on the front, and basically this one's going to be more my large, like as you can see I've got a postcard in here, so large postcards, large tickets, um, and I'm going to be doing a lot of writing in this one. So this one's for all those larger bits and pieces that don't fit in my smaller ones. I know it seems crazy that I've got three different journals for this trip, but to be honest, last time I went, I had my, because this will also have my itinerary in it, last time I had my itinerary and I had my collage journal where I collaged every day, then I also had somewhere to write down things and I also had like a pocket just stashed of bits and pieces, like packaging that I liked or paper goods that I liked. So, I know it sounds a bit crazy to have a journal for everything, but I really like the idea of going back over at the end of the trip, knowing that this is probably going to be more writing and more of those real bigger things like postcards and having my itinerary in this one. Knowing that I can have a photo a day in this one would be really nice. And then also knowing that I've got all like my little things that I've collected along the way in this one. So, I know that's a bit much for some people, but I love journaling and it will literally take me one second to glue a photo down, a few seconds to glue some um, paper goods down and then um, a decent probably 20-30 minutes to then write up what I've done for the day um, and maybe put a bit of washi tape around or use the stationery that I've bought. So, that's going to be in my middle pocket and the reason I have that lot in my middle pocket is because it's a nice sized pocket that I can just zip up and then if anything falls out um, it will all be in there. Now there's a back pocket to this pouch. It's a zipped pocket and what I have in here is the real basics and I'm hoping that I can add some stationary bits and pieces in this back pocket. Probably some glue and some stationary bits and pieces that I buy along the way. So all I've got is a um, pen and scissors. Now this <laughs> is so cool. It's a travel um, scissor pack so it actually looks like a pen but I actually got this in the mail from one of my pen pals. Look how cute it is! Isn't that the cutest? So um, they're travel scissors and they fit perfectly in here and they're a size of a pen. So no big bulky scissors which is perfect and then I've actually just got some washi samples of my favourite travel um, washi samples. So, well, I've got my favourite sam washi samples that I thought would be good for travelling. <laughs> um, so that basically, po that pocket on the back is basically just a spot where I'm going to put all my stationary bits and pieces. And that is my travel pack. So, um, I will also have my passport in here and that will be in the zipper section. My itinerary will already be written down, so that will be the middle section. And then it fits just a lot of really good goodies, of really good goodies. It fits a lot of really good stuff in here. So I've got my travel guides, that's the book that I'm going to be using, some bits and pieces like some gifts that I can give away, and my three journals, which I can journal in every day. And this will fit nicely in my backpack, and this will be pretty much my entire stationary go-to pack for the entire trip. Um, thank you so much for watching this video today. Please give them a thumbs up if you got some ideas from this video and let me know in the 
just uh, the comment section what your favorite journal was and what ideas you could possibly use for your next trip. Thanks for watching. Bye.